All right, it is early morning on Saturday, and I'm just playing around with resin and alcohol ink until the people get here. I'm over at RK3 Designs, and Rhonda has set me up to do a demo, so we're going to lure them in. Howdy, howdy, this is Claire Lawrence. Okay, so here's the scoop. I'm over at RK3 Designs helping her out with her big pro class for resin countertops. And she asked me to do a demo Saturday morning. I know that these people have had three full days of intense, like just a lot of work with resin, a lot of information being thrown at them. You know, usually by the third, fourth day, they're, you know, they're looking a little, you know, haggard. <laughs> They get their money's worth, I can tell you that much, when they go to one of these classes. So, I thought it would be fun to just go ahead and set up and just be playing around with uh, alcohol links while people are starting to, you know, slowly come into class and get set up. And they're like, you know, one of those, what you doing kind of situation. They kind of come around and cluster and, you know, and I'm just playing. This is taking me about, oh, 35 minutes or so. And I just throw a bunch of colors on. You know how I do. I like to do that. Um, and I honestly did not take a picture of the colors I was playing with. So I'm really sorry about that. The, it's one of the light aqua colors that I'm playing with. With um, a ranger right there. There's a, pinata, a couple of pinata colors. I think the purple and the Baja blue, not entirely positive, and there's, it looks like there's another Ranger blue too. So, and a little hint of silver, uh, aluminum, uh, the alloy color there, shoot, sterling, that's a, what it is. And I'm just manipulating, bringing them in, trying to show them how it's like, at first they see the whole thing's just covered in color, and I start to draw in the colors into the metal create a little bit more drama and such and i'm getting a pretty good crowd here it's actually kind of interesting it's like they all started talking about like oh this is what she's doing this is how i play with you know other things and this is about how to work with different mediums and how they can connect up with resin so as you guys know, as you are fully aware, I like to mess around with alcohol inks and resin combination. So this was just exposing them to how I do the application. And in my demo, I talked about how you could create and lay out maybe colors in uh, your countertop ahead of time before you apply the resin and how it can work out together. So that was an interesting challenge for me because most of the time I'm working on pieces that are smaller and countertops can be massive pieces. So I needed to think, put in that kind of mindset so that it would make sense for individuals who are showing up for a countertops class. How can I use this technique for me? So, all right. So this is a little bit later on. And I've already got my piece done. They're outside working on the next step of their class, which is construction with Kenny. And I thought, you know, I'm going to go ahead and finish this piece off. I've already sealed it. It was a super hot day. So that seal just, uh, the spray sealer just dried up with no problem whatsoever. Um, <laughs> probably was done before I hit the, hit the door. And I am using the stone coat countertops their countertop formula which has still got a lot of the stuff that the art coat has it's got that heat resistance in there that's the basis that the whole line came up from so it's got the heat resistant uh the scratch resistance the no vocs and that's one of the reasons why i love stone coat so much okay so we're laying in, we've already got our baseline of resin all over the board. I've even hit the sides a little bit and torched it real quick for the bubbles. And what I'm going to do here is just lay in a few lines of color. 
and I grabbed some colors before I came over to Rhonda. I've got Erica Shimmer with me for sure from Color Passion and may throw some cells, may not, but it's a real deep, deep purple and it's got a slight pearlescent shimmer to it and I like that. Um, I've also got a titanium white from uh, Just Resin to add a little bit of accent and I believe 007 um, from Color Obsession to add a nice gold shimmer in there too. And the plan is, is just to accent what I've already got going on there. Add that little extra layer of depth to really bring out your piece. So I'm mixing up all these pigment pastes well in a uh, well ahead. Of, oh, I'm sorry. It's early morning for me too. And words are hard. <laughs> Some of this I've already re-recorded over and over again. <laughs> but whenever you go into any kind of coloring that you want to use and you're scooping it out and applying it to your resin. Do not, do not, do not, do not, please. Uh, the once you, that stick has hit your resin, do not put it back in your color because you will mess up your color quickly. So I want to emphasize that. I don't think I've talked about that in my videos too much and I want to make sure I did do that. So I did overload my gold a little bit because I wanted to make sure that wherever I laid it down, it had a lot of extra punch to it and turns out really pretty. So this is how that particular color looks. Erica Shimmer is really pretty. And this gold packs a lot of punch as well. And there's titanium. Okay, now to apply it to the canvas. So all I'm going to do is just lay in super, super thin lines, work with the design that I've already got. I've got this nice vertical direction and flow going on here. I'm going to have several lines going through the middle. I don't want to take away from the nice strong black diagonal line, but I just want to work with it. And then I put some faint lines into the background where it's really super light. So I got to be careful of that because I don't want to take away from that either. Sometimes it's just a hit or miss kind of deal. And I encourage you, if you screw up and you're like, crap, I put too much or blobbed out and I didn't want it to blob out, either one, you can work with your blob and redistribute it by running your stick through it a couple times. Like you saw me do a little blob on the uh, black there and I was able to run the stick through it disperse it a little bit the other thing you can do is you can get a, a paper towel and kind of wad it up and gently lay it down in your resin and just pick up a little bit of that color now you do also pick up resin so you got to be mindful of that uh, if you pick up too much of resin obviously you're pulling it off your canvas so I've got my colors laid in and now it's time to play with a little bit of heat and kind of move them around blend them into the background a little bit or get them to flow. So what I'm going to do here is literally heat up the entire canvas and then I go in a little bit more specifically and I'm going to the left and to the right just to get it to kind of move kind of like a ribbon and then some areas I want it to completely fan out so it gets really nice and soft. So this is kind of going on a minimalist approach as far as adding colors to the resin. Now the gold here, I've added a few lines in the beginning like you've seen. And I did fan them out intentionally because I want them a lot softer. And using the heat gun will have a tendency to let the gold go into the resin. But I did want to have some gold on top. And I'll apply a few lines later and hit it with um, like a, a torch. And for some reason, the two uh, brings the gold to the surface. And I'll add a shimmer on the surface, kind of like gold, uh, kind of like gold leaf. And I wanted both 
both the sinking in and on the surface look. So I should be doing that any moment. Come on, Claire. Hurry up and let in your gold lines. <laughs> I'm waiting for myself to do to do the work here. And oh no, apparently I'm doing the white lines. Okay. Yes, I did I forgot I did this part. Okay. So one area on the right side I wanted to put in a little extra white to definitely give it that soft feather look. Go especially like that because you can see it going and see the colors going through it and it really plays nicely with depth. So I warm up the resin ahead of time and then I go and I move it. Just like so. And I'll do a little bit on the other side as well. So just a little bit. Okay, I think I'm going to mess around with the gold lines now. Come on, Claire. Don't disappoint. Get that gold out. Nope. Play with more heat. <laughs> it's hard sometimes when you do voiceover. It's like, I think I'm doing this next. Am I? And we're waiting. And we're waiting. Come on. Get the gold. There we go. Okay. So it's just super thin lines. And also, if you're waiting until your resin starts thickening up, remember I'm using countertops, so it's got a shorter working time. Um, you can actually land really detailed lines if you want that specifically. Like, for example, like if you're working with the geode and you want to follow a shape going around, but you don't want it to fan out. Um, wait till your resin thickens a little bit and then you have a little bit more control and you can leave a consistent line. So as you saw there, I just hit it with the heat a little bit. You notice the lines didn't really fan out too terribly much. And I'll bring you in for a close-up so you can see how the difference is. Oh, apparently went in with a heat gun too. Okay, I should be done here. All right, now time for our close up. Didn't it turn out pretty? So, see, I got a real nice crisp line there right at the end, and there's that faint gold dust thing by fanning it out in the beginning it ends up giving you a whole lot of depth especially with something very detailed and very soft it does that quite a bit and even that white on the white background because it's just two different types of white it still shows up too and i'm hitting it very lightly with the torch and it's spreading that gold just a little bit, but that gold is staying on the surface. You see how it's highlighted on the bottom? It really does look like a, a gold leafing now. So very pretty. Yeah. All right, y'all. You know what to do. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. But definitely hit the bell to get notified. Next time I put a video up. And check out the link below. I'm going to put in RK3 Designs. Uh, if you guys are serious about your resin, you really want to push it, check out her classes down in Seguin. And a lot of times on the pro classes, I come help her out. Um, not all the time, but a lot of time. And so I might see you there. But uh, also check out uh, my Etsy store, my Amazon store which is full of links. I get a tiny bit of commission, but it doesn't change your price at all. So click away and I will see you guys later. Oh yeah, all my colors, I get them from Artist Till Death and there's also a coupon code there too. Later y'all.